think we all knew this day would come. Allie and Andrew were inseparable since day one, but they weren't the only ones who were close. Many of you know Allie and I were like sisters. We even called each other sisters. Since kindergarten, Alexandra and I have been best friends. We planned out the rest of our lives together. She was my left twix bar and I was her right. We were packaged side by side. There were meant to be two of us and we were inseparable. Through our first crush, heartbreak, and development of an enemy, we shared each other's emotions. After years of planning, our lives are supposed to turn out a little something like this. One, always be best friends. When someone else called each other one of our best, like a best friend, they got a death stare and a big fat no. Number two, get married around the same time. We made all the plans for each other's weddings, including the food, the flowers, the dress, and even the groom. And sorry, Andrew, at the time, it wasn't you. If she could marry anybody, it would probably be Zac Efron, but at the moment, we're happy if you're the person. Number three, we would have kids around the same time. No matter what, they'd be best friends and grow up exactly like Allie and I. Four, share a room in the nursing home. We would be the crazy old ladies in the nursing home that steal everybody's wheelchairs and make fun of everybody, but we would be able to say we were with each other through sickness and through health. Whether or not our plans follow through, we will always be, we will always have our crazy times together. We had dance parties to all three High School Musical movies. We took joy in destroying our moms in volleyball whenever they coached us all the way through grade school. We sat down for hours and discuss, discussed what our football t-shirts would look like whenever both, our, whenever both of our boyfriends played football. By far, my favorite moment was playing hot lava in a furniture and breaking not one, not two, but three pieces of furniture. We've never ran so fast. We had our fun and games, but our friendship is serious. Like the right and left Wix bar, we had many layers. The soft and sweet part was the caramel. Like our sweet sides, we witnessed each other's first crush. And though we never thought we would end up marrying Andrew, uh, I'm almost positive he was your first crush. Like the crunchy cookie layer that snaps in half, we helped each other through our first heartbreak. Luckily, the first heartbreak was not Andrew, but you better believe that if you break her heart, you'll be answering to me. Finally, there is a Twix wrapper. The wrapper is the one thing that holds us together. Allie and I have been together since day one. I knew eventually <coughs> we wouldn't need each other. I would need replace. I knew that in a way we would always be close, but college would tear us apart. Today is the day I give up being the right side of the Twix bar. Today is the day Andrew takes my spot as being her other half. Andrew, you are now the one that helps Allie when she is feeling down, the one that carries her when she is weak, and the one she can turn to when she is in need of a smile. Today is the day I take over the role of the rapper. When you need me, I will always be there. I will attempt to be the one that holds you together when you feel like your cookies are crumbling. Andrew, like a rapper, I am not necessary, but I do hold the instructions for keeping her happy, the ingredients that make her feel loved, and I contain some important information and some not so important information that many may overlook. Just remember, happy life, happy wife. Allie is extremely lucky to have found someone like Andrew but Andrew is the luckiest guy in the world to get to marry my left wig bar, Allie. So please raise your glasses to the bride and groom of the night, Allie and Andrew Sievers. <coughs>